Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihil kareem. We greet you from my Caribbean island of Trinidad on this, the 29th day of the month of Rabiul Awal of the year 1445 with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And we are responding to the war which is going on at this time in the Holy Land. And in this uh, brief video, we seek to explain a threefold process through which the State of Israel seeks to establish a Pax Judaica, which will replace Pax Americana. In order to understand what is happening in the Holy Land, unfolding so mysteriously, you need to go to the divine guidance. You need to go to the scriptures which have come from the Lord God. And when we go to the Quran and when we go to Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him, we get more knowledge on the subject than is to be found anywhere else. Anywhere else. We know that you don't ha I don't have the time to explain to you the subject of the Antichrist, Dajjal, the false messiah. But if you go to my videos and my books, you'll be able to understand that subject. But our prophet said, Allah's blessing be upon him, that when the Antichrist is released into the world, he will live on earth for 40 days. One day like a year, not one day that is a year, one day like a year, Yawmun Kasana, one day which will be like a month, Yawmun Kashar, one day which will be like a week, Yawmun Kajuma, and all the rest of his days which is not 37, stop that nonsense. And all the rest of his days, وَسَائِرُ أَيَّامِهِ كَأَيَّامِكُمْ Like your days. And so the Antichrist is going to pass through three different stages while on earth, in this world of space, but it will be three different worlds of time. In this world of space, but three different worlds of time. And only when he has completed all those three would he appear in person in our world of space and of time. And in Surah Al-Mursalat of the Quran, Allah speaks of this when he says, In Taliku ila zidlin zi sala si shrab, proceed to a shadow which will appear in three parts. That shadow is the Antichrist. And the three parts of the shadow have to be completed before the shadow will disappear and the mankind will see the Antichrist or the Jal in person as a human being. Our prophet said he'll be a young man, he'll be a Jew, a young man, powerfully built, with the sideburns, the curls of the pro Torah has ordered them to keep. And he will be attempting to impersonate the true Messiah and to rule the world from Jerusalem. This is my book on this subject, explaining Israel's mysterious imperial agenda, seeking to rule the world from Jerusalem so that he can say, I am the Messiah. I am the Messiah. When in fact, that would be a bogus claim. Because the Messiah is the son of Mary, the son of Maryam. Jesus, the son of Mary. He is the Messiah. But when he came and they, they saw that he was born of a mother who was not married, she was a virgin then some of them declared that she had committed sin and he was a 
when I was a bazaar in Shah. He's a bastard. And so they rejected him. And when they saw him die before their very eyes, he was crucified. It happened before their very eyes. He was crucified. Mm -hmm. Since the Torah said, whosoever, whosoever dies like that is the curse of the Lord God. So now it was as plain as daylight to them. He could not have been the Messiah. But what they did not know, and no one knew until the Quran was revealed, was that no, they did not kill him. No, they did not crucify him. But rather it was made to appear like that. Don't come with this load of rubbish that the Lord God caused someone to assume the appearance of Jesus and that man was crucified. Take your load of rubbish and go and jump in the, back in the sea. We don't want to hear that rubbish. The Lord God is not unjust. No. And you will have to answer on judgment day for making this claim that he caused an innocent man to assume the appearance of Jesus. They call it the theory of substitution. I don't know from which garbage bin they took this rubbish out. And that man was crucified? Not now. This is not the Quran. This is not the Quran. This is not the Quran. The Quran says Allah made it appear like that. And I have explained this subject so many times, but it goes into this here and it goes out through that. There, there are people who will never understand. And so he was not crucified, but Allah raised him unto himself. And he is coming back one day. There are so many proofs from the Quran that he will return. I gave this lecture in Birmingham. And it's on YouTube. It's on, uh, on, on the subject of the, the return of Jesus and implications for mankind. And so they are waiting for their Messiah to come. And the process through which their Messiah will eventually rule the world from Jerusalem and claim, I am the Messiah, is that first of all, the Antichrist has to create the civilization, modern Western civilization. And this modern Western civilization has to produce a state which will become the ruling state in the world. And that was Pax Britannica. Yes, I studied international relations in two universities. And Pax, Pax Britannica didn't fall down from the sky by accident. No, no, no. Pax Britannica was created by the Antichrist to prepare the way for a Pax Americana, which in turn was meant to prepare the way for a Pax Judaica, the three stages of the plan. And only when a Pax Judaica is established and Israel appears to be ruling in the world, ruling state in the world, only then can this man stand up in Jerusalem and say, I am the Messiah. Will this happen? Will this be, uh, will the Israel succeed in doing this? Well, <laughs> looking at this, the world that is controlled by the IMF and looking at the bogus money that we're using all around the world and tomorrow we're heading for one currency, central bank, uh, digital currency and no scholar of Islam standing up against this monetary slavery and economic slavery. I don't see anything standing in the way for Israel to achieve what it wants to achieve. Jerusalem in the Quran explained this so long ago. And so here is an explanation that you need to understand. If you are to be able to penetrate events unfolding in the Holy Land at this time, that what is happening now is that the world is in a stage of transition 
and Pax Americana is riding out into the sunset. The US dollar is on its way to the graveyard, the cemetery. And it is only the Great War that is awaited now. And the hope that the Great War will destroy the two sides, mutual destruction on the West and Russia and China and the other. So the course will then be clear for Israel to replace the United States as the next ruling state in the world. This subject has been explained time and again for 20, 25 years now. 25 years ago, they were laughing at me and mocking me. Not anymore. Not anymore. We can see from the events unfolding in the world that I was correct in my analysis. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. One more.